Hello and welcome to Barbershop Book Storytime with Alvin Irby. That's me. Today we are going to read a really cool story. I say that every week, don't I? Well, it's true. So today's story is called Q Saves the Sun. Q Saves the Sun. What's the first thing that we do? Well, let's take a look at the book cover. Let's see what's on the front cover of the book. Well, I see a kid and he's holding what looks like a little dinosaur. Maybe it's a stuffed animal. Maybe not. Let's see what else. It looks like he's standing on top of the earth. And it looks like maybe there's like a superhero and he has a big Q on his chest. Do you see it? Wow, and this looks like it could be the sun. It looks like maybe this is an adventure story. I can't wait to find out what happens. Q saves the day. My name is Kadir Taylor. Everyone calls me Q. So there's Kadir, but everyone calls him Q. Most kids hate when it's bedtime, but not me. That's because every night, my dad sends me on a mission and I get to enter a whole new world. Well, that's cool. That does kind of sound like an adventure, a mission. Look what, look what he's doing before he gets ready for bed. He's brushing his teeth. I hope that you brush your teeth every night before you go to bed so that your teeth stay healthy and strong and clean. My dad, is a motor man for Chicago's train system. So in Chicago, there are trains. Here in New York City, we have subways, but it's pretty much like the same thing. And that's where Kadir's father works. That means that he gets to drive the L straight through downtown. And look, do you see this picture? I think that may be his dad on the train in Chicago. And look, look how long it is. It's like it keeps on going. Have you ever been on a subway or a train? Here in New York City, we have a big subway system. And I take the train, well, I used to take the train all the time. Even though he doesn't get home from work until it's almost time for me to go to bed, seeing my dad come home at night is the best part of my day. So every night, Q can't wait to see his dad when he gets home from work. And if you look, do you see this? I think, I think this may be his dad right here. And maybe, maybe this is his mom. And do you see anybody peeking around the corner? You see anyone peeking around the corner? <laughs> I see Q, he's right here. Tonight, just like every night, my dad describes a dream to me. It's always some incredible place. He asks me to, you know, journey to like really cool places or better yet, an adventure he wants me to go on. Okay, Q, says Dad, tonight you're, you're an intergalactic space traveler. While you and your crew are out exploring the universe, you discover there's a race of alien robots trying to steal the sun. Whoa, did you hear what his dad said is happening in this story? There's an intergalactic 
That means lots of different galaxies. It's like a space adventure. And there's some aliens who are trying to steal the sun. Can you imagine what would happen if the sun disappeared? It would get so cold that everyone would just be freezing. They would be like, like that because it's so cold if there's no sun. Because the sun helps keep us all warm. Let's see what happens next in the story. Once the lights go out, I close my eyes. I bet he closes his eyes just like this. Oh wait, but I can't read with my eyes closed. And the adventure begins. Look. Do you see Q? He's on the bed. Do you see him? And who do you think that is? Who do you think is in his door? I bet it's his dad. Whoa, you know what I just noticed? Do you see his lamp? It looks like his lamp has a rocket on it and it even has stars. Wow, it seems like Q, he's right here, he's the one sleeping. It seems like he really loves outer space because look, even his bed, his blanket, you see it? His covers, they even have outer space on it. You see this rocket, this planet, and there are even stars. Here's a star, here's a star. So it seems like the character in today's story really, really loves outer space. For those of you who are just joining us, today we're reading Q Saves the Sun. This is an adventure story. So, once Q closes his eyes, guess what happens? He said that the adventure begins and I become super Q, fearless adventurer and space explorer, along with my faithful sidekick, Brain, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I accept the missions my father gives me and face new villains each and every night. So every night, his dad comes in after he gets off work, after driving the train all day, and he gives Q an adventure. And as soon as he closes his eyes, he says that that's when the adventure really begins. And look, here's Q. And do you see his sidekick? Who's like a dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's right there next to him. And look, he says that every night when he starts to dream, he turns into Super Q. I think this is Super Q right here. How do I know? Well, do you see that big Q on his chest? That looks like a Super Q to me. Let's keep reading. As our heroes, Super Q and Brian, did I say brain before? I think I did. I definitely meant Brian. <laughs> Brian, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, begin their expedition into the darkest reaches of the cosmos a terrible sight comes into view. So as they are going deep and deep into space, oh, there, Brian, Super Q shouts, those treacherous aliens, aliens have already managed to connect their ship to our sun. Why are the aliens connecting their ship to the sun? Quickly, Super Q des decides on a daring course of action. What is he going to do? What would you do if you were in outer space and you saw aliens stealing the sun? I don't know what I would do. Run? I don't know. Quickly, Super Q decides on a daring course of action. Hit the thrusters, Brian. We'll chase these aliens to the ends of the universe if that's what it takes. And look, here's Super Q's 
Look at his spaceship. And how do you know that this is super Q spaceship? Well, if you look really, really close, do you see that Q? It's right here. So there's a Q on the side of the spaceship that lets you know that this is super Q spaceship. And in the back, you can see planet, a planet. And look, I think that may be the sun. Someone's trying to sneak away. Some aliens are trying to sneak away with the sun. I can't even imagine how hot the sun is. The sun is like so, 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 so hot. Like you can't even get really, really close to the sun because it's so hot. So these must be some really, 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 really tough aliens if they're able to actually capture the sun. I wonder what's going to happen next. Just as our courageous explorers dip and dart through the stars, the aliens spot them and accelerate through space. So as soon as the aliens see them, they accelerate. That just means they move really fast through space. I think they're trying to make a getaway. The fiends think they've escaped, Super Q exclaims. But we won't let them succeed, will we, Brian? Who's Brian? Well, Brian is his sidekick, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And look, there's Q. And somebody says, Rawr. I think that's the, the dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think that kind of sounds like something that maybe a dinosaur might say, like a little roar. Rawr. Like that. Oh, well, you know what? Tyrannosaurus Rex, they have two little hands with claws. So they would say, Rawr, like that. <laughs> I like dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Maybe a little bit, a lot. Suddenly, the robots launch an attack. Oh no. While laser blasts explode around them, Super Q gives new orders to his crew. What do you think Super Q is gonna tell his crew? Or is he gonna tell them, let's get out of here? Or do you think they're gonna stand their ground and try and fight back against the aliens? Arm the photons, Brian. Whoa! The sun thieves know that we are the only thing standing between them and their evil victory. We must defeat these attack jets before the main ship gets away. And Brian replies, Rawr! Oh wait, like this. Rawr! Because he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So he has like little claw fingers. For those of you who are just tuning in, we're reading an adventure story called Q saves the day. Well, this is what happened. His dad, who works on the train, comes home every night and gives Q a new mission, a new adventure. And as soon as Q closes his eyes, the adventure begins. And to today, Q, or Super Q, as he's called in the story, is trying to save the universe because some aliens are trying to steal the sun. And just when Q's spaceship starts pursuing the thieves who are trying to steal the sun, well, guess what happens? They see a lot, and I mean a lot of spaceships coming out of nowhere. Oh man. There's only one of their ship. They only have one ship. But look at all of these alien spaceships that are everywhere. What would you do if you had a mission and you went out into space on an adventure, but then you saw aliens trying to steal the sun? And when you went after them to try and stop them, all of a sudden you saw all of these alien spaceships what would you do? Would you get out of there and 
put your thrusters on so that you can get far, far away? Or would you try to save the sun? Man, this is a hard choice. Let's find out what Super Q does. While Super Q does his best to fight off the space, space jets, his ship suffers a terrible hit. Boom! What happened? Did our thrusters get hit? Brian examines the ship's computer and, ex and he exclaims, Roar! That's the only thing that his sidekick, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, keeps saying is, Roar! Like that. Well, Super Q replies, our only hope is to stabilize the engine and put our spacesuits on. It's time to meet these aliens face to face. And look, do you see this? Wow. While Super Q is on his spaceship, one of the aliens hit him with a phaser. And you can see it says, Boom! Right here. And then Super Q and Brian, that's his sidekick, they put on their spacesuits. And look, it looks like they have lasers. Emerging from their damaged ship, Super Q and Brian prepare to take on the fearsome robot army and save the sun. So Super Q and his sidekick, Brian, who's a dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. They're trying to save the universe by saving the sun. Although our heroes fight bravely, Super Q notices that their ship has been damaged beyond all repair, so their ship can't even be repaired. Oh man, what's gonna happen? For those of you who are just tuning in, we're reading a really fun adventure story called Q Saves the Sun. Q is a kid who every night he goes on an adventure that his dad gives him. And just when he closes his eyes, the adventure begins. And today, he's trying to save the universe from some aliens who are trying to steal the sun. Although our heroes, they really fight bravely, his ship is damaged. How will he and Brian retrieve the sun and find their way back to the Milky Way galaxy? The Milky Way galaxy, that's actually the galaxy where the Earth, that's where we live. That's the galaxy that our planet is in, the Milky Way. Can you say Milky Way? Yep. That's where Earth is located. And that's where we live, in the Milky Way galaxy. It's then that Super Q remembers a lesson he learned from his father a long time ago. I wonder what he learned from his father. The brain is more powerful than the body. True heroes own powerful minds. I wonder what Q is going to think up. Look at this picture of Super Q in his space outfit. He's thinking up a way to save the sun from the aliens who are trying to steal it. I wonder what he's going to do to try and save the sun. <gasps> that light, Super Q thinks, it's the same light flashing on all the robot jets and on the robots themselves. Maybe this light controls them. Oh, that's what he says. <laughs> I guessed it. Maybe that's what's controlling them. So look, do you see Super Q? He's right here. And look at the light that's going out to the all of those spaceships. 
I wonder what Super Q is going to try and do. Maybe he's going to find some way to disrupt this beam of light that's going out to all the spaceships. Do you think that will save the day? Pow! Bam! Super Q realizes that reaching the strange pulsating light may be the key to victory. Crack! Smack! The robots fight even harder to keep Super Q and Brian at bay. Look, do you see Super Q? He's running. Wait, I think I see one of the robots. I think that's one of the alien robots. Do you see it? It's right here. Do you think that the robots are happy? Do you think they're coming to say hello? I don't think so. Boom, bam. But as soon as the robots realized they chose the wrong space explorers to mess with, uh-oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Do you see the robot? They're protecting this, this you see this light right here? They're protecting this. Q or Super Q as he's called, he thinks that this beaming light is what's controlling the aliens. And if he can just stop this light that's right here, if he can just stop it, this whole big old computer thing, if he can stop it, maybe he can stop the aliens from trying to steal the sun. Remember, if the sun went away, if the sun disappeared, it would get so cold because the sun helps to keep us all warm. Man, I hope Super Q saves the day. Finally, Super Q reaches the strange light. I've only got seconds before those robots overpower us, he thinks. As Super Q pulls down the giant light switch, the universe goes silent. Everything gets really, really quiet. I wonder what that means. Q was able to turn off the beeping, the beeping red light. Suddenly, Super Q and Brian watch in amazement as the lights on every alien jet and robot, robot go from flashing red to a calm, pulsating green. So when he, when he turned off that light, all of a sudden, all, the late, all of the aliens, instead of flashing red, the light, there was a green flashing light. And all the aliens became calm. So there was something or someone controlling all of the aliens, making them mean. But when Super Q turned off the light, all of the aliens became calm and relaxed. Wow. This is some adventure story. Do you, did you see Super Q and Brian? They're right here. And do you see all the aliens surrounding them everywhere? I would be so scared if I was surrounded on every side by aliens. But Super Q and his sidekick, Brian, they are really brave. One of the aliens slowly approaches Super Q. Could this be a trap? How would you feel if an alien came up to you, would you be scared? Like, uh, uh, or would you be really excited and happy to meet a new alien? I would probably be a little curious, but I would also probably be a little scared about meeting a new alien. One of the aliens slowly approaches Super Q. Could it be a trap? We don't know. 
Greetings. The robot says in his robot voice, thank you for saving us. Not understanding exactly what the alien means, Super Q politely asks, saving you? Huh. The ro robot explains, an evil and powerful alien forced us to steal your son. He placed that switch on our ship to override our programming. But we were also programmed not to turn it off without per this permission. Without his permission? There was another alien that was controlling them. Did you hear what the robot said? It said that someone, someone came and put this button, this flashing red light on their ship to control them and they couldn't even turn it off. And then the mighty robot leader says, but you freed us and we are in your debt. How can we repay you? That's what the robot said. Do you want to see what, what it looks like? Okay. So this is Super Q as he's out in outer space. And the robots were approaching him. And then here's the brave robot leader. This is the alien that comes up, the robot that comes up to Super Q. Did you hear what the alien said? I'm going to read it one more time just to make sure that you understand what the robot said. An evil and powerful alien forced us to steal your son. He placed that switch on our ship to override our programming. But we were all programmed not to turn it off without his permission. That's what the alien said. Man. Without any hesitation, Super Q smiles and tells the alien, I think I know exactly how you can repay us. I wonder what Super Q is going to ask the aliens. And do you see Brian? He's right here. He's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's, an, he's a dinosaur. But look, he's in a space suit just like Super Q. Man, this is such a cool story. It's an adventure story. For those of you who are just tuning in, today we're reading Q Saves the Sun. It's an adventure story about a boy who every single night, his dad gives him an adventure and a mission. And as soon as he closes his eyes, he starts an amazing dream. An amazing adventure. With his ship destroyed and the earth in need of its son, Super Q requests that the aliens bring the giant yellow star back to the Milky Way. The giant yellow star? Well, of course, that's the sun. So Super Q asks the aliens to help him bring the sun back to the Milky Way. That's the galaxy that we live in. Because, do you remember? Super Q's spaceship was destroyed by the aliens. Do you think that the aliens are going to help Super Q bring the sun back to our galaxy, the Milky Way? Well, I think they are because Super Q saved them from the other evil alien who was controlling them. Wow. And guess what? They gave him and Brian a ride home. So the aliens, were they nice or were they mean? Well, they were mean when they were being controlled. But as soon as Super Q saved them and freed them, they were nice. Just in time, Super Q and his new alien friends restore the sun to its rightful place. So they put the sun back where it belongs to make sure that the earth was able to stay warm. Because remember, if the sun disappears, 
Man, it will get really, really cold really fast. Look, Brian, Super Q exclaims. The sun is back. The earth is saved and the robots have been freed. Just another daring exploit to add to the adventures of Super Q. You might have guessed what Brian says. Rawr. And guess what? That's the end of the story. The aliens bring Super Q and his sidekick, Brian, back to Earth, back to the Milky Way galaxy, and they bring the sun with them. They put the sun back in place, and look, now they're back on Earth. Even before my alarm clock goes off, I'm re reminded that my mission was a success. And look, there he is, Q. Happy that his mission was a success. I meet my dad at the breakfast table so I can tell him how things went last night. And then the spaceships exploded, I tell him, near the end of the, of the tale. And wow, look at his dad. He's listening, and his mom too. Everybody's listening to Q as he tells about how he saved the sun. What did you guys do then, Dad says. That's when I noticed the aliens were under mind control, and I freed them. Bam! Pow! And then you brought the sun back to our galaxy, Dad asks. Yes, sir, I replied. Dad, can you imagine... What would have happened if everyone woke up and the sun wasn't in the sky? Whoa. It's good thing Super Q and Brian defeated those aliens, Dad says. That was some battle. I smile and say, that was nothing. Dad, just wait until tonight. <laughs> Every night, Q has a new adventure. Because no matter where the danger lies, no matter how hard the job may be, guess what? Super Q and his trusty, trusted, Super Q and his trusty sidekick, Brian, are always ready for the next great adventure. And guess what? That's the end of the story. Today's story, it was called Q saves the day. Thank you all so much for listening to Barbershop Book Storytime. If you want to learn more about what we're doing to help the babies read, visit barbershopbooks.org. Until next time, bye-bye.